Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned about the merge join in Power BI. So we use the Power Query Editor to do the merge join. In this video, we will learn about the various types of merge joins available. So we have the left merge join, the right merge join, inner, full, left anti and right anti join. So let's start. I've got some data here, which is, I've got the employee table, which contains 10 records and employee salary. Now you will notice that the first six records of the employee table match, the employee IDs match with the first six records of the employee salary table. But employee ID 11, 12 and 13 do not exist in the employee table. And uh, employee ID 7, 8, 9, 10 do not exist in the employee salary table. So let's start. We'll start by importing this data. And I've already uploaded this file to GitHub uh, on as 31st October 2005, 17 XLSX. You can go and grab this file from uh, the GitHub. I will uh, leave a link in the notes for this video so you can get the files and practice along. So we'll just go to get data, click on Excel. And we will just select the employees file and click on open. And we'll select the employee and employee salary. And instead of load, we will click edit. So it will open the Power Query Editor for us. So for the purpose of this uh, video, we will consider the employee table as the table on the left side of the join and employee salary as a table on the right side of the join. And so what does a left join mean? Left outer join or left join? It means that give us all the records in the employee table and the corresponding records in the employee salary table which match. So the, this in this case would be the first six records. So we would have the first six records. And so we will have all the records of this table, but the employee salary we will only have for the first six and Ramit, Pat and Tim will not exist. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll go to merge queries and click on merge queries as new. So we select employee salary. We'll take the employee table as the one on the left side and we'll take the employee salary and we'll join these two table on the basis of employee ID and we are using a left outer which means all from the first and magic records from second I will click OK. And we will just call this table left outer. And as you can see it only gives us the first 10 records which exist in the employee table and it does not give us uh, records for uh, Ramit, Pat and Tim. And I will just select salary and click OK. And as you can see, because only the first six records have a corresponding entry, the employee salary, we got these records and the last four do not have a corresponding entry. But we did the join and these records still came through. Now let's again select the employee table and we'll see which one we'd want to. So we'll do the right join now. So we'll still use the employee table and we'll say go to merge queries and go and say merge query as new. Employee and this is the employee salary table and we'll do a right outer. So which means that we'll have all the records in the employee salary table we'll just link and we'll see and click OK so we'll grab the employee name and salary from here and click OK and let's see what happens so as you can see, it shows us all the records in the employee salary table, but Ramit, Pat and Tim do not have a corresponding 
record in the employee table so these are null records so as you can see the right join gives us all the records in the employee salary table and what we are missing are bing joe bing anna and lisa so they have not been included so all the records in the employee salary table and the corresponding matching records from the employee table we will call this the right join sorry we will call this the right outer and we will hit enter now the third one we are going to look at is the inner join so we will again go and say merge queries let me just go back and select employee first I will go to the merge queries and click merge queries as new so employee id and we will link it to employee salary on the basis of employee id and we will just make an inner join and click ok so an inner join will just give us the matching records so when we hit ok let's just hit ok see it is only giving us the first six records so the first six records match because the IDs match we call this the inner join and we'll just select the salary as well so we've got we've covered the first four joins now we will go and look at the full outer so i'll again go and select the employee table click on merge queries merge queries as new join the employee to employee salary on the basis of employee id and we'll use the full outer join and click ok and we'll just grab the salaries as well employee name and salary or we'll select all three and click ok so as you can see here first it gives us the matching records then it gives us records which exist in employee table not in employee salary and then the records that exist in employee salary but not in employee so it gives us all the records and that's what this diagram says it gives us everything in a as well as b just name it full outer and hit enter now we are left with the last two so left anti join which means that it will give us the records which exist in employee but not in employee salary so in this case it will only give us Joe, Bing, Anna and Lisa so we will have the employee table selected we will just say merge queries as new and we will merge on the basis of join on the basis of employee id and we will say left anti and click ok so as you can see it just gives us the three tape three records and let's just select cell or we can select all three and see what it gives us So because these last four records do not have a corresponding entry in the employee salary table, those fields are null and we'll just change the name, we'll call it left ante and now we'll do the right ante which will just give us Ramit, Pat and Tim. So let's just do that, select employee table again, go to merge queries, merge queries as new. and join the employee id from employee table with employee salary on employee id and we'll just use the right ante and click ok so let's select these three and see what it so it's giving us these three records which exist in employee salary ramit pat and tim but there's no corresponding entry in the employee table we'll call it the right ante And we can close and apply and this data will become available to us in Power BI. 
So in this video, we covered the various types of joins available in Power BI Desktop via Power Query Editor. So we covered the left join, the right join, the inner join, full join, left anti-join and right anti-join. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thanks again.